Florida is now one of at least 20 states with confirmed cases of the Omicron variant. The CDC says the reported cases do not have severe symptoms. Top U.S. health officials say it will still be a few weeks before they have a better idea of the variant's severity, transmissibility, and how vaccines can affect it. Florida's first two cases come nearly a week after Omicron was first detected in the U.S. New 6's Nikki Zizaza has the latest all new at 11. The Omicron variant of COVID-19 has arrived in Florida and has been detected and confirmed by the Florida Department of Health. The state has confirmed a presumed positive case of the Omicron variant of COVID-19 in St. Lucie County and announced the sample will be sent to the CDC for further testing. Just hours earlier, the Veterans Administration confirmed another case was detected at the Haley Medical Center in Tampa. In this statement made public, health officials say the patient is experiencing mild symptoms and had recently returned from international travel. We knew it was here. Uh, we're one of the highest traveled states in the in the country. Seminole County Emergency Manager Alan Harris says given how quickly the variant spread in South Africa, it is no surprise it's here. We don't know a lot about Omicron. Uh, we don't know. We, we believe that it is a higher transmission level. We do not know uh, the mortality of this. We do not know how severe the illness will get. That's still going to take some weeks to do that. Federal health officials say it's also not clear whether Omicron will replace Delta, which represents 99% of COVID-19 cases circulating. We have months of study on Delta, and all of those data demonstrate that vaccines work. Harris agrees. Right now, what we're going to do is continue our vaccine mission. Now, detection will also play a role in fending off this very Variant and several communities are already testing their wastewater for the virus. Altamont Springs expects to get their results back as early as Wednesday. In Orange County, Nikki Zaza getting results, News 6.